a very intelligent man, but that doesn't come over when he's doing a speech like this. It results in public relations, I'm not sure it is the other speakers. Um, it's much more interesting when you talk to him. Was there anything in particular that you liked or disliked about the speech? Anything you would take back to your council? I should take back the comments about talking to the people about what they like, and I hope he will too and listen to people, because many of my residents say they would rather put up the council tax than take the vote, and they will say that uh, their voting system, they don't need a referendum for them. Um, not a lot really, I thought it was unusual for him because obviously I'm not uh, supportive of Eric Pickles or his policies. But at least you know you get a bit of a laugh. You know, he's light hearted, he's jocular, he gives us a bit of stick, he was very flat. Uh, I don't think it took any, any way forward. I thought that to be dismissive of the, the position that the LGA has taken on rewiring, which has all parts of support on the LGA, you know. As uh, Lord Hesterstein said, we are the people with the finger on the pulse at local governments. We think that the way forward, um, basically from, from the rewiring programme, is a good way forward. It's a good start, it's a way from. And to dismiss it out of hand the way he did. And I think, for me, his whole contribution was summed up by his final statement when he was asked the question, you've cut and cut and cut our budget, how do you think my council's going to cope with another three, four million cut? And he said, because you will. And that's the point. He knows we won't let our people down. He knows we'll do what we have to do. We'll balance the books. We'll make the difficult decisions. But it's not that we want to do it. It's not that we like doing it. We'd rather do it a far more constructive and well thought out way. But we're having to take decisions now where we've put to the bone and we're now actually looking to amputate things in local government. And that can't be good for local government. But we've got to live with the economic situation that we've got and we will make the tough decisions. That's what we're there for. Well, the message remains relentlessly localism with scorching austerity on top of it. And he doesn't see that changing for some length of time. I think there is a bit of confusion possibly starting to develop on whether he's going to lower the council tax cap or not, just by the rather couple of jokey answers he gave um, to the chap from South Lakeland, where it inferred that he might have a zero and then you would have to fight a referendum, but I don't think that's what he meant. And is there anything that he discussed that you would take back to your council? Um, I didn't think there were many new things in it, but I did think there was the relentless focus on troubled families, he explained very eloquently, and that's a key priority for us in Worcestershire. And also, it was quite interesting, the obvious behind-the-scenes negotiation that he revealed with health over um, getting the extra money in there to deal with that our social care.